Alyssa Weinzimmer here. I'm a vocal health educator and the founder of Voice Body Connection. And today in my How to Warm Up video series, we've come back around to articulation. Now, so far with the articulation exercises, we've been covering consonants. We've done plosives, which are the explosive sounds where the articulators explode away from each other quickly. We've done nasals where the sounds continuously go through the nasal passages and leave that way. And now we're doing fricatives. Now, fricatives are sounds where the articulators come very close together, but they leave a little passageway, and the sound can actually friction through or buzz through the space that's left, creating a fricative, okay? So the fricatives that we deal with most often in English are F, V, TH, both the unvoiced and voiced version, S, Z, and then the SH sound, and also the voiced version, which we could spell ZH, okay? So those sound like this. Yeah? And you might be able to tell that there are two pairs, or we could call them cognates is the official word. There are two pairs of sounds for each. So there's actually four placements, and each placement has an unvoiced and a voiced version, okay? Now, here's a fun way that I like to think about this, is that the unvoiced versions of the sounds are like steam escaping from, let's say, a tea kettle. Whereas the voiced versions are sort of like a drone. You can make a droning sound with them, okay? So we're gonna practice all of these sounds thinking of the unvoiced sounds as steam and the voiced sounds as a drone. Now, don't forget all of the work we've done so far with our impulse, our body, our breath support, our phonation, and our resonance because we wanna be sure that we are supporting from the bottom of the tube and really sending lots of breath and vibration through these sounds, okay? So here we go. So an F sound will sound like this, and we're gonna make these long because these fricative sounds are continuance, meaning that they can continue. So an F sound will sound like this. Right? You've got sound escaping between the teeth and the lower lip. And then the voiced version of that is going to sound like this. We're gonna drone it. Yeah? Okay, good. So, and uh, here's something that I like to think of with the V that I think is fun, is you can think about the sound vroom with a motorcycle. So you can go right? And that'll be nice too because it'll require breath support to have those pulses, okay? Now let's go to our THs. So we have the unvoiced version, which is, you may not even hear it much from where I am, right? It's sound coming between the teeth and the tip of the tongue. This would be as in the word thin, thin, right? And then the voiced version, we're gonna send airflow and vibration through it. Very nice, good. Now, let's go a little bit further back. This is the tip of the tongue contacting the bumpy gum ridge, the alveolar ridge. Here's the unvoiced version. That's definitely the sound of steam, or it could be the sound of a snake. And then the voice version, zzz, and this one's fun because it sounds like a bee, so I sometimes like to do an exercise where I send my hand around like a bumblebee. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Right, that's fun. Good, and then we have a little bit further back. This is now the tip or blade, which is slightly behind the tip of the tongue on the post-alveolar placement. So right behind the alveolar ridge, we get shh, and then if we do the voice version, we get zzz. yeah? I'm voiced again, the steam version is and the voice version is zzz, as in like the name ja ja, yeah? Or the word judge, that's at the end, yeah? Okay, good, so these are your fricative sounds from front to back in the mouth and practice them, and especially if you're a singer, you can actually do vocalizing on any of the voiced sounds. So you could go Oh, that won't work. <laughs> you gotta do All right, you guys, enjoy your fricatives. 
Next week in language, we will put them into context with some tongue twisters.